Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one of my most favorite videos to film, an iPhone unboxing. So today is opening day or like release day of the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro. So I got the iPhone 15 Pro because I am a pro girly. As you can see, I have the white iPhone 14 Pro. I love iPhones guys. And I always say this, I always get the iPhone Pro instead of the Pro Max because I did experience the Pro Max lifestyle. The Pro Max is just too big. I had the iPhone XS Max and I couldn't hold it in one hand and I need to be able to do that. So ever since then, I have always gotten the smaller phone. I love the white. This has got to be one of my most favorite models, like the look of the phone. Look at how crystal, pearl white this phone is, but I went to the dark side. I got the titanium black. Okay, let's just get on into this. I'm sorry. I'm like drawing it out. <laughs> Look at her. Here it is, guys. So this is what the front looks like. We had the back paper strips to take off. I really miss the cellophane because like that sound just like satisfies me. I don't think I'm ready for this. I can't believe I actually upgraded this year, but here we go. She's so pretty. This is her. Oh my gosh, and it's a lot lighter. Like I can already tell that this phone is a lot lighter. Okay, let's take her out. Oh, I already love this model and this feeling in my hand a lot better than my other one. No offense, 14 Pro. No offense, but yo, look at these. It's so easy to hold, it's lighter. Just everything about this phone, this model, I like better than this one. Let's just do one of the most satisfying um, things and take off the like screen paper. Again, I really liked when this was plastic as well, but how did I do it last year? Oh my gosh, I guess I just like peeled it back. Okay, ready, ready? <laughs> This phone is so perfect. I love the weight. It makes me feel like I have my 12 Pro again and I absolutely love my 12 Pro. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna put the screen protector on. You guys know this is like the most stressful part about iPhones for me because I need to get it on perfect. I'll link everything down below that I purchased so you guys can shop the same stuff. But this is the screen protector I got. It's the Belkin Ultra Glass 2 screen protector. And it's the exact same as this one. And it was really easy to apply, like knock on wood. I hope I like do a good job applying it. This screen protector has been great. So that's why I just decided to get the same one for the new phone. But I'm gonna put it on now. So fingers crossed. So far it's a little off center, but everything looks even. Yes, I do have some bubbles, but I know for a fact that I don't have any hairs, which is amazing because <laughs> on this phone, I do have a hair. I think I named it Steve. What did I name it? I don't know, I tweeted it. I don't know, I tweeted it because there was there was a minor hair in this one and I, it, the hair has stuck with me for an entire year and we've just been through things together. So luckily there's no hairs in this one, but there are little bubbles, but I know with time those will sink in. It's just like how the screen protector has been applied. Yeah, I've taken like five minutes. You, all you have to really do is take a credit card too and like press against it like this and like move your hand. I'll work on that a little later, but first I'm too excited. So, all right, so let's continue on with the unboxing. So we have the new uh, lightning. It's not a lightning cable. It's a USB-C cable. So this is what it looks like. It's just still white, but it's this really cool material. It's almost like a fabric and not like the plastic feeling. So I don't know if you guys can like really tell, but this is like a more fabric cable than plastic, which I appreciate because the plastic ones like be fraying all the time. So finally have USB-C and it's finally, hopefully not gonna like fray or I don't know, hopefully it's just better quality. It's fine, but to go along with this because there's no charging block, I bought myself a charging block. I don't have one. I only have the old one, so. This is my new charging block for my iPhone so I can plug it in next to my bed. 
here she is. Here's the little phone charger. Looks like this, just like any other phone charger would. The box doesn't come with a lot of stuff just like last year, but I'll go through this. This is just little papers. We get an Apple sticker. Here's the Apple sticker. If you guys didn't know, I collect these. I have like over 20, I think, because one of my old friends, she had like a lot of Apple stuff. This actually started last year, but the SIM card um, is no longer. So we have eSIM and honestly, that's why I think I get messages and send messages slow because of eSIM. So hopefully they like upgraded that. I don't know. I've just had a lot of issues with eSIM. I don't like it. I'm not a fan, but it, it is what it is. So that's everything that comes in the box. My bubbles are still bubbling. Then I also got a case for the phone. I wanted black on black. I think this is just going to look so sleek and nice. I absolutely love when people just have a black phone. Like I said in one of my other videos, when you take like mirror selfies, I find, well, I just recently found this <laughs> distracting, but like the three dots when you like take a mirror selfie, it's like kind of distracting. Like when it's just all black, it just looks so much better. Don't get me wrong, I still love this phone, this look of this phone, but we'll get into that later. So here is the iPhone case to go on the phone. I'm gonna put it on later because I wanna do like comparison and stuff, but I wanted to show you guys what that looks like. Oh my gosh, Apple silicone cases smell so good. I was watching Sophia Carmada's videos just to get like pumped for the iPhone. And boy, is she right. They smell so good. And last but not least, I kind of wanted to show you guys the car cord I got, like the aux to, they use this big bag for this tiny little thing. So I got this aux cord to USB-C because my car doesn't do Bluetooth. I have to like manually plug in my phone still. Uh, so I got this cord from Amazon. It was like $10. And I got the gray one. So this is what it looks like. We have the aux side and then we have the USB-C so I can plug in my phone. And thank goodness this one's not like super long cause I had to like make a bunch of knot or like roll up my other one and like put a tie around it so it wouldn't like go all over the place. Cause I guess I got like a super long one when I did like lightning cable to aux. But this one actually seems like it's a good length. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's like a perfect length. It's a little long, but you know, it's fine. I hope this works good. Okay. Let's quickly move into like comparisons with the, both of the models, because I actually really like seeing these. I didn't realize how much dust there was in my room until like, I don't know. These things are just getting kind of dusty. So let's start off with the back. The back's actually quite similar what I'm seeing here, but honestly, they both have the matte glass on the back, um, with the shiny Apple logo. They look almost identical. Like if you were on the street and you saw one phone or this phone, like they look the same. So that's not that different. Not really much has changed except the uh, design as in materials. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with my last unboxing. I'm gonna put them side by side. The iPhone 14 Pro is a lot thicker than the 15. You can see, you can definitely tell that one is thicker. Even when you hold them in your hands, this one's a lot thicker. I don't like that. <laughs> like, honestly, that's why I was excited when this one was coming out because this one is just too thick. This thickness made me miss my 12 Pro so much. This one resembles more of the 12 Pro in your hand, so. It's kind of obvious, but like the sides are rounded. That's kind of an obvious thing. Do I like the square? Do I like the rounded edges? From a design standpoint, I like the square. From a feeling standpoint, I like the curved edges just because it is more comfortable in your hand. But this design, like I love the box, the square, the squared off look. So that's also a key thing. Also, it's obvious that this is like really shiny and this is more matte with the uh, titanium. I hate this because it, I could never rock no case. I normally sometimes when I, when I know I'm getting a new phone, I like to uh, rock the phone without a case, but you can scratch the sides. You can see all the fingerprints on the sides. Heck no, I am not going without a case with this one, but this one, I feel like I would rock no case for a little bit if I wanted to like towards the end of this phone's time with me um, because the sides, like I don't see them getting like ugly. Like these are gonna be always ugly 
because your fingers all around it and like your hands get greasy, you know? Definitely do not like the shiny finish on this one. And I love the matte finish on the sides. This is self-explanatory, but the chargers are different. USB-C, lightning cable, what everyone's been talking about and everything, the action button. Other than the action button, they look exactly the same. Again, action button and mute button, and then the two volume buttons. I really thought they were gonna do a rocker type thing where there wouldn't be two separate buttons. I think this model is beautiful, like from a standpoint of just like, oh, what I wanted to touch on. I would never get the white titanium because going from the 14 Pro, that is such a beautiful white, a pure white, pearl white, I just feel like the titanium white is like off white and it looks like a dirty white. So if you're gonna get a white iPhone, get the 14 Pro. Like look at how beautiful this thing is. Like it is so pretty, um, but it's more like pretty in a glass case, not for everyday use. Because again, you cannot rock no case with this phone. I love this one's weight too. It's a lot lighter than this one. And that was one thing I also complained about. This one was just like, too heavy for me. I don't, I didn't really like how heavy this one was. Overall, I don't regret my decision in upgrading because this model just already feels so much nicer and like user friendly and better for my everyday life than this one. But still like I do grow emotional attachment to things. So I will miss this one so much, but I know it's like, it's not practical for me. It's just more aesthetically pleasing. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but you can kind of see the marks. I don't know if you can tell. I'm trying to look. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. It is noticeable, but not as noticeable as this one. You know what I mean? You actually have to be kind of looking for them, like hunting them down. See around the um, lock button right there? I mean, yeah, it's kind of noticeable, but it's not as bad if it was just like all shiny and stuff. But now I'm going to put the case on her and then we're gonna set this phone up. <laughs> okay, so the case is on and it smells so good. <laughs> so I cannot wait to take like mirror selfies because this is how it's gonna look now. It's just gonna be like black with this like one dot. So I don't know, it just looks so clean, so sleek looking. I don't know, I just love it. I gotta work on these bubbles. But now I'm going to set up the phone. Um, I hope no one like texts me or anything because I don't know. I'm gonna have to do this eSIM thing again. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I had such an issue like getting my eSIM. Like it took, I think a day. I don't know, maybe I did it wrong. I don't know, but it was like super frustrating. I do not regret getting the black one. I was like a little nervous because I've always had gold or like white iPhones ever since like the iPhone 4. I think this one's super strong and like really classy and like you don't have to think about it. Like what case do I need? Like it'll match everything. Like the white matches everything, but I don't know. It's just, I'm, I don't regret my decision. I, I love this. This is like what I've been wanting. Moving on because I am just like getting off track. Let's turn her on. Okay, so we have our hello screen. I have the screensaver on my MacBook. I love it. My mom was like asking me like, what is this? All right, so we wanna do English, United States. Looking for nearby devices. So this is when, I, I guess you like hold them up next to each other. Oh, set up new iPhone. This is what I messed up with last time. Like what I was going to do was like back up from Mac and like they want you to do it continue on your oh, setup for me So they wanted me to do it this quick start way. They didn't want me to use my computer I had to like reset my phone and stuff <laughs> and the eSIM is so much better too Because it's like it just asks like do you want to transfer your number over? So that's amazing. So this is gonna take a while. I'll be back once it like finishes updating the software and stuff so the lighting's changed because it's gotten a little later, but the transfer has been completed, at least according to this iPhone. So here we go. It says, Ola, restored from backup, and then it's just loading. So I hope everything goes well. Then I'm just gonna have to figure out the eSIM because that's probably the hardest part. Um, oh, I'm gonna customize my action button. 
Okay, so continue. I do want to customize this because I want it to like pop up to be the camera. Silent mode. Oh, wow. That Look how fast that goes when I like swipe. Okay, so flashlight, camera. So we have silent mode, camera, flashlight, accessibility, no action. I want it to like be the camera. Welcome to iPhone. And there's my stuff. Um, set up cellular, yes, set up. Okay, so basically this phone asked to transfer SIM to this one, so I will say transfer SIM. Unable, it says this every time that it's unable to transfer. Oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. Okay, so everything transferred. My phone is my phone, but I'm having that problem with the eSIM again. Yeah, I don't know, this happened last time, so I'm not that concerned. If anything, I can just go to a Cricut store, but um, I figured I would just end the video here. I accidentally deleted the eSIM off of this one. I don't know, I was like, okay, maybe th because this one has eSIM, this one won't do it. I don't know, but th that's the only really frustrating part about this whole phone thing. So I'm gonna go on my computer and like type into Cricut and like tell them what's going on. But um, overall, I'm very impressed with this phone and I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing chit chat video. And yeah, they're some of my favorite videos to make. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, quick update. I actually had to get on like the chat with Cricut so they could help me. But the guy named Chris was so nice and basically just sent me like this QR code and now my eSIM is like all activated and ready to go. So I'm like, oh, it was so much easier than last year. Like I waited like 24 hours to like have a phone, like to have a phone that could like make a call and I was like freaking out. I don't know why I didn't just like put two and two together and be like, well, they probably have a help desk. So I don't know, but anyway, just wanted to throw that in there.